Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. May God continue to be with you today and may His face shine upon you and give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm 130. We'll read from verse 1 to 8, and it says, Out of the depths of have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to my voice. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, O Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul does wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel open the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all is iniquity. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word. And as the psalmist pray, and he hopes in prayer, hoping and praying that the Lord will answer his prayer. The only way of relief from our entangled soul, our sin entangled soul, is by seeking God and God alone. Many times we turn to other things for relief. We turn to other things, hoping that we will find comfort and healing. We trust in man and we trust in things sometimes more than we trust in God. But as you and I know that only God alone can heal. He can heal our broken heart. He can heal our spirit. He can heal our mind, heal our bodies, heal us physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and all the alleys you can think of. And so that is why you can understand why the psalmist is seeking the Lord because what he knows that only the Lord can bring total relief. And so as the Holy Ghost give our poor soul a refreshing and Help us to understand the necessity of seeking God by prayer and faith. Crying out to him because he said that, Come unto me, ye who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he also tells us in his word that if we ask anything of him, that he hears and forgive us. And so we have no need to be afraid. We have no need to run away from God and to run away from help because what? He is inviting us to come and our soul needs the refreshing. Our soul needs to be lifted up. It needs a reviving. And so as the psalmist wait, wait in earnestness and he longs for the, the, the outpouring and the refreshing of the spirit in his life for relief from what he is going through. So we also should wait, hope, and seek him patiently because God will hear and answer. God is able to redeem us from our sin. What if the Lord, as it says, mark our iniquity or punish us as we sin or destroy us because the truth is that that's the, the penalty for what we have done. Sin in our life is a very destructive force. But God in his love and his mercies come to offer relief and come to offer salvation. So because of his grace and his mercy, we are able to stand. But without that, without his grace, we can't stand because there's nothing in us that is good. Or that can carry any weight for us to, to find favor with God of ourselves. We have to trust in Him. But the good thing about everything is that there is forgiveness in the Lord. And I say Amen. So we need to give God praise 
for his forgiveness and give him thanks for his righteousness. So as we think about this word this morning, may we cry unto God, may we pour out ourselves before him and may we wait on him and may we seek his face because he is able to bring you through your experience. He is able to restore you. Don't look to your doctor. Don't look to your pastor. Don't look to your friend because the most that they can do is give you a word of encouragement a lot of times. But they more than likely is going to point you back to God who is able to give you what you need. And so, seek God first and then you will need nothing else. May God continue to bless you and God continue to keep you. Amen.